Good morning, my lovely Aquarius. Welcome, welcome. First of all, before we dive into the channel messages, I have one card that jumped out for you, and that is the Nine of Wands. And I will say with this card that I feel, first of all, that you need to realize how far you have come in your life. And with this, I feel that a lot of you guys are going through a big change where something cannot follow you anymore. There might also be something with boundaries that you need to be better at setting boundaries, which again, it actually fits perfectly for you because we have Saturn in retrograde in Aquarius until October. And I believe that Saturn is actually going to be very active in your chart until March next year. So just pay attention to this boundary game playing that's going on. Another thing that is happening in one's life when the nine of wands is popping up is the question, am I happy in a relationship? Am I happy where I live? Am I happy with where I work? Am I happy with my habits? I heard someone say, am I pleasing too much? Do I fight for the right thing? Because there could be this feeling of having no fight left. And I will say there is, or there might be a lot of Aquarius people out there. If this resonates with you, you know. Who is in a relationship, but you have outgrown something in the relationship and you are learning to set boundaries and becoming free. So if you have been thinking about, am I happy in my relationship because of your seventh house at the moment, being unbalanced for a reason, I want to say, try to dig a little bit deeper and be like, am I together with this person because of comfort? Do we fit together? And so on. That is the first thing that I just want to point out for you. So if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Also, do not let people step on you. Do not let people take away your values, what you believe in. Don't let people push you over. Yes, very important Aquarius. And with that, we shall take the channeled in messages and i don't know if i said that but you can be aquarius you can have aquarius wherever in your chart check out your other signs as well especially the rising sign take what resonates leave the rest with the roles you can be male and you can be female plus this reading is timeless so even to that you see this pretty late doesn't mean that whatever we're talking about will not resonate or will be out of date or whatever yeah okay so First things first, there is this feeling with the mind being on fire, being very active. There is a lot of thoughts. There has never been so many thoughts in your mind as there is now. And this is because that there is a lot of activity in your third house of communication. There might also, with this, be important conversations happening this month, which Again, could be connected with what we just spoke about. I just saw 515, so there might be something with finances or there might be something with traveling. Something is being activated, I feel, in your chart when it comes to traveling. Hmm. But pay attention to your mind. You might have this feeling of stumbling over your words a lot or you might have trouble sleeping because there's a lot of things happening in your mind <laughs> a lot of things happening for some of you guys i also will say that that there might be a lot of spirit activity happening a lot of spirit spirits want to communicate with you for some reason i had something about a dressing room not a dressing a dressing room <laughs> Yeah, dress room. Yeah, interesting. A dress room. Like, yeah, like if you are working in the theater, 
actor or if you're an actor or something like that there has been something happening interesting but I see someone smiling so it's like it's actually pretty fun you know it's pretty fun that this yeah maybe it's like Charlie Chaplin <laughs> like a, I don't know why I feel like some of you guys have connected with a famous celebrity who's passed over and you might joke with it like yeah I saw Marilyn Monroe <laughs> you know whatever and it's actually true you did see or feel you have this connection with someone P pay attention to that yeah so the next thing is that there is a lot of activity happening when it comes to your career all right all right oh wow <laughs> well I am Libra so you know we're not far apart from the air because <laughs> <laughs> pretty much stumbling over my words lately well I don't think anything is new there <laughs> but I feel like you are connecting with a lot of new people you want to connect with a lot of people you are showing your ideas um, with people close to you with people at work or on social media and it's actually paying off Especially if you do this connected with work, it will pay off big time. Another random thing that came up was something about red paint. A lot of red paint or the color red. Something with red, but there was a lot of it. Uh, this is not a negative thing. Maybe some of you guys are painting something with red. Or maybe there's something about, you know, having a crazy idea of painting a house red or the what do you call that that's in front of the house the wood that's it <laughs> cuts off you <laughs> it cuts off you on the garden what is happening with my wording today <laughs> well i do have aquarius in my seventh house so <laughs> maybe something is happening there <laughs> Oh my god, something about red. Another thing I feel for you is that there is a new deal coming your way, a new opportunity. This comes in with a lot of force, a lot of energy. It is very exciting and it actually comes with this spotlight, you being in the spotlight, which is interesting with this dress room. Dressing room? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the dress room? Yeah. What is happening in your life, Aquarius? Okay, writing projects plus new ideas. Again, if you are working with writing, this is a very, very good idea for you to keep writing. No matter what it is that you are writing, keep writing because your ideas are right. Spirit is like, yes, write this down. <sighs> work on the story or work on whatever it is. Like, the spirit is pushing you. People are very impressed or people will be very impressed with what it is that you are writing with this because of the 10th house be mindful of not being too pushy with someone because they might not be ready if there should be something that pisses you off or triggers you when it comes to someone that might not be ready recall your power because otherwise i feel like you might lose that energy that you actually need to push push and put into your own projects so just be aware of that i feel like there's someone around you like you really want to help them fix them but they are just not ready they are not ready For some of you guys i feel like there's something about a taurus there could be something about a sagittarius as well is there something else there could also be something with a scorpio i heard yeah scorpio with Pis pisces moon hmm Another thing I got true for you is that there could be a very challenging conversation happening with a family member. I feel this family member is very, very stuck, very unhappy. There might even be something with nightmares, which again fits very well with this one. And I will say this could also be you having a conversation with a family member about you being stuck, or you being unhappy. 
that might be something with self-esteem. No matter what this is, just be open, be honest, no matter if you're the listener or if you are the talker. Another random thing that came true is that you might really get angry. I had this feeling of someone being so angry, really pissed off because of someone who did something. When it comes to a home, when it comes to something that was sold or something that got put up for sale. Yeah, something with a home or something with sale. Yeah, pay attention to that. I actually didn't get any more <laughs> out of that. I will say, I did hear someone say, you are in your right to actually be pissed off because it was not for them to put this up for sale, whatever this is. Like, it feels like someone didn't ask you and someone just put something up for sale. That's actually interesting because we do have the devil reversed. There could be something with a Capricorn, but things will move in your direction. We do have the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is very, again, it can turn in any direction. It depends on how we turn with the wheel, how we move with it. The Wheel of Fortune is also our destiny, the wheel of our destiny. So no matter what will happen, there is something in it, even though that you are in your right to be pissed off if it resonates with you, it actually moves you into a new direction. Yeah. It might more be connected with the boundaries that's being set. Maybe, you know, sometimes something bad has to happen for us to point out that what you do is actually wrong. And they would not have seen that they do something wrong if they wouldn't have f***ed up. That was a beep word. If they wouldn't have messed up. <laughs> then we have Saturn in retrograde in your first house until October. And like I said, Saturn is going to be in your first house until March 2023. 20, so there is a lot of routines being shifted in your life. There is a lot of focus on taking care of your body, your physical health. There might even be something about your, your work routine. You might even really be fascinated about your body in a way, where you try to to read some kind of goal. If it's you getting more muscles, if it's you getting more tattoos, because that is also something about body art, or if it's you losing weight or gaining weight or getting a spray tan or whatever it is, there's a lot of focus on that. You're also going to feel stronger, you're going to feel young, younger, <laughs> younger. <laughs> and I feel like you're really going to be focused on what does my body want? What does my body need? Plus there might be something coming up with an old issue when it comes to a healing, but you're actually learning something about past mistakes with this. If it's about your knees or your your yeah your legs, there might be this energy of slowing down more and being more flexible with your future or with your pathway. Yes, there is a lot of focus on family, I will say, because there might also be issues with a parent. And I will say, because when I wrote this down, I did hear, do not worry, because it's not... It's not anything negative and it will work itself out. There might be something with a mother, there might even be something with a child and there will be a very heartfelt conversation. For some of you guys, I feel there's something about a parent who misses you. You might live in another country or it might be a child or it might be a family member. And I feel it's because they are going through their own transformation. So you might be a role model for them and they feel like they need you closer. But I also feel that it's not possible because you are living your own life. Yeah, and you should not give up your life. But there might be a need for some kind of bonding, I want to say. Yeah, and I know that I also tapped into this energy Again, yeah, but let me just um, take it as I got it. There will be clarity about a problem that might have come up around the 25th or 28th of April or May. 
So clarity is coming. So when it comes to family, here we come again with the family because you might actually be taken by a surprise when it comes to a visit. <laughs> like there might be a family member that like surprises you with like arriving. <laughs> and you know, this can go both ways because sometimes you like <laughs> surprises and other times you don't like surprises. Like you like surprises, but you also you know, want to know what the surprise is about. So you might be a little bit like, oh, well, okay, well, yeah, well, yeah, you know, I'm excited, but um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I feel if this happens for you, like a family member is just suddenly visiting you, just be open for it. <laughs> just be, yeah, because I feel like it will be very healing. And you will be very, I feel for some of you, you have actually been waiting for this. But there's also something inside of you that's like, well, it would have been nice to be prepared for this. Then the last thing we have is that the full moon activated your, your destiny, which is actually funny. Now that we have the Wheel of Fortune, this is going to lead you into a completion and a long time goal that you have worked on since 2021. I feel like you're going to receive very, very, very good feedback. But it might happen very late this month or it might happen in the beginning of next month, so, so July. Good news of feedback you get when it comes to something. You have shared something, you have posted something, you have worked on. But for some reason, you still doubt yourself. You still doubt if you're good enough. And I do want to say, again, it makes so much sense with these cards. Do not be too hard on yourself, because I feel like sometimes you can actually be a little bit too hard on yourself. It makes sense, because again, Saturn in your first house can be a bit of a trickster when it comes to you being too much in your mind. So don't be too hard on yourself this month. Before that I end this, because that is the channel two messages that I wanted to speak with you about, let's just take the last cards and see if Spirit has anything else. That you need to know. Oh wow. <laughs> you got your own card. The star. Plus you did get the four of wands. It is reversed so there might be something about a divorce or there might be something about moving out of a house. Um, yeah. But I want to say that it can also be, because the Four of Wands is never a negative card, but it can just be this, like, you already know what you want to do, but you can be too much in your mind. So, go after your dreams and desires, and follow your new path. Follow your destiny. I feel that is the message for you. I hope you could use it. Let me know in a comment below. And... If you are in need of a private reading, healing session, or removal of blocks, all information is down below, and I will talk to you in my next reading. 